tyres, fence panels, the odd fridge or washing machine, all piled up on the sides of Buckinghamshire's roads by people Waste Enforcement Officer David Rounding brands as just lazy. We've got a, a real mixture of wastes. We've got quite a few fencing panels, tyres, lots of different building materials, rubble, I've seen damp proof course, double mattress, there are even some, um, some traffic lights down the far end, would you believe? And how long does it, will it take to kind of clear all of this? Well, it'll take a machine and several loads to remove, but this could be removed in a day. It's just a question of preventing it refilling with more waste. We, we need to get this properly secured to allow access to the, the mast at the far end, but just making sure that they can't dump it again. Nearly 800 tonnes of rubbish was dumped illegally in Bucks last year, and often there's nothing Bucks County Council can do about it. Like this field, where a whole load of tyres have just been chucked from a van. I mean, this is at the top end of the, the criminal fly tipping chain. These tyres could have come tens of miles. They, they could have even come out of London, who knows. We've got at least 200 tyres have been just launched through a hole in the hedge and rolled down into the field. Um, tyres are, are at the more difficult end of, of investigation because Obviously we can't tell by examining them where they've come from, so we're relying on either the people who've dumped them being witnessed or on hidden camera work. If we do get a, a good lead on an investigation like this, then we can look at other measures to, to trace the tyres from the source. As he showed me some other hotspots, David talked about how some offenders will drive along and just tip out their rubbish in the middle of the road. He says it's a danger to drivers, but it can also harm animals. Francesca is a nurse at Tiggywinkle's Wildlife Hospital. So we've got a few of the stuff that we have found on animals. Uh, so like rope, um, this is like a netting, like a tennis net. People may take it down and then they just leave it on the floor. Um, and then this is just perfect for anything to get tangled in. This one was around a hedgehog. Um, as you can see, it's a lot around for him. So it all got them caught in the spines. Um, so it's not good. Fishing line, um, like I said, it's just all of this will tangle. The other things, swans and geese, they will swallow the line. Um, so this one, this bit was obviously hanging out, and then all of this was down the throat, so we had to pull it all away, um, but being careful of the big hook that's on here. But not only that, you know, they could just stand, any animal could stand on that. Um, even, you know, domestic animals could stand, which, you know, can be very harmful for them. The County Council say it might be easier to fly tip than take rubbish to the dump, but it is illegal and they will prosecute everyone they can. If you're unsure about where to take your rubbish, you can check out the advice on this story's webpage.